Hey everyone, what's going on? If you're new to the channel, I'm going to leave some links in the description of the video to help you kind of understand what I am talking about in this video. Because there's a whole lot of things that are going on that are, I'm talking about synchronicities and signs and symbols and how they're guiding me to understand things that are going on. And just last night I made this video talking about the 2015 Philadelphia train wreck that happened and how I've had a bunch of synchronicities and things in the last six months or so that are leading me to believe there's something important to a train wreck narrative. And in, at the end of the video, and I think even sometime in the video, I mentioned how a big day that I'm paying attention to is the day March 10th. And I also mentioned the date March 10th in this video due to a dream theme that I was having synchronicity with. And I don't want to explain, I mean, it's a lot to explain, but moral of the story is I had these synchronicities in 2018 with Family Guy and Vladimir Putin. And right around that same time, I also had synchronicity with Family Guy and it was an episode with Sean Penn on it. Then we got Sean Penn in the news and how he was in Ukraine and such. And that story came on 3-1, which is nine days before the date 3-10. And in the video where I talked about Sean Penn back in 2018, I mentioned how I think there's something important to nine days before because earlier in that year I had this dream about my dad dying and my dad was synced up to this bridge symbolism. And nine days after I had that dream, there was a FIU bridge collapse in Florida. And a whole bunch more, but I know I, I pointed out how Sean Penn was really synced up to the uh, the Pittsburgh bridge collapse that happened on J January 28th earlier this year, like 128, and Sean Penn and Gematria equals 128, and William Penn, who founded Pennsylvania and so on, William Penn equals 128, Pennsylvania became a state on a date numerology of 128, but on January 19th, I had a bunch of synchronicity with a song called absolutely the story of a girl by the band nine days and nine days later is when we got the pittsburgh bridge collapse and what was funny is i had that synchronicity with my sister whose name in gematria sums to 128. so i knew there was something important to this day nine days after sean penn was in the news and the reason i'm making this video is because i made this train wreck video and in that train wreck video, I also mentioned how Bon Jovi, I had a bunch of stuff with Bon Jovi, and Bon Jovi was leading me to believe there was something important to the train wreck symbolism. And today when I woke up, I got in my car to do my two block drive to work or three block drive, and Bon Jovi was the, the song that was playing on the radio when I got in the car. And I'm starting to think that Bon Jovi is the only thing that this radio station plays because I keep having these weird syncs with it, but... I kept going, man, I wonder if there's going to be some Bon Jovi narrative again linked up to the train stuff. And I went to work and about three hours later, you know, nothing, nothing came of it. And then all of a sudden I hear on my, my coworker's phone was the one playing the music. And all of a sudden the song Absolutely Story of a Girl started playing. And I was like, I got to take a picture of your phone because this is crazy that this song is on playing on this day. I haven't heard this song in forever. And now it's playing on March 10th, the day that I have been paying attention to, you know, because of, you know, the band who wrote this is called Nine Days. And I'm talking about this because of the Nine Days symbolism. And then that song is playing and it. It was actually really odd that that song was playing because the radio station that she was playing was playing like a bunch of like, like 2010s to now songs. You know what I mean? I was like, and this song came out in like 2000. So it was kind of odd that that song was in the mix of all the songs, you know? And it was just some radio station that she had on her phone or whatever. It wasn't a playlist or anything. And I thought, that there's no coincidences, you know what I'm saying? Like, Or it is technically a coincidence, but everything happens for a reason, if that makes sense. So I was like, huh. And about, I, I work like 9 until about 12.45 in the kitchen. I work at a gas station. And... At 12.45, I went up front and I run the cash register until 5 o'clock. And at about 3 o'clock, this kid came in and the first thing he says to me, he goes, did you hear about that uh, train wreck that happened in Denison today? 
And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. There was a train wreck just 19 miles away from where I live in Denison, Iowa. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's a train wreck there. And I couldn't find very much of it at first. You know, it was a lot of on, it's on Facebook and so on. But I mean, it's just unbelievable. There was a train wreck. And this town, I, I just DJed there last weekend. And I, you know, it's like the, the town. It has the Walmart in it. You know, it's not a very big town, but all these small towns that I live in, that's like the town where you go and get your groceries. And, you you know, if you want to get something special, you go to that town, unless you want to drive an hour and go to Omaha or something and such, you know. So it's like I have like a relationship with this town. I even used to work in this town for a number of years. And I'm like, what are the odds there's a train wreck? And this is also the town where my dad lives or da my dad works. And my dad was really important to that nine days symbolism, right? So I'm thinking, huh, what? You know, just... And, and what's even crazier is the kid who told me about this, his name was Jordan. And if you go back to this video I'm talking about with the train symbolism, a big thing is connected to Michael Jordan and also Philadelphia because the capital of the country, Jordan, used to be called Philadelphia until the year 106 AD and then it was later destroyed by earthquakes. And... Michael Jordan originally retired on the date 10 slash 6, like 106, and oh, he has finished his career in Philadelphia and a whole bunch of stuff. I just talked about a lot about Michael Jordan. So it's just interesting this kid named Jordan is the one who comes in and brings it up. And what's even more odd is that this kid Jordan, he uh, his sister is actually married to my cousin Ryan, who I've had a the, the whole bridge narrative that I'm following, it was all stemmed back to him being a Philadelphia, he's the only Philadelphia Eagles fan that I know. And his father had died in 2018, right after that FIU bridge collapse. And the dream that I had about my dad dying, his father was actually there at my dad's funeral alive. And then he ended up dying and a whole bunch of stuff. But like I said, watch these old other videos because I've talked about this a whole bunch, but What's so interesting about, you know, so this kid Jordan, his sister is married to my cousin Ryan. That's important to this narrative. And last night I had a dream and I can't really explain like what the dream was about because I don't really remember. But the one thing that I do remember in my dream is that I saw my cousin's wife and she was like holding a kid. I don't know like why. I remember specifically that it was her. And she was holding a kid. And I didn't know what to think of that. And then when this happened at work, it was like the, her brother comes in, who I haven't even seen for a lot, while. And he's like a lot, he's a good amount younger than her too, because he's younger than me. And she's older than me. So, I mean, I would, I would say there's at least 10 years gap between them. But it's just so odd that I would have a dream about his sister. You know, I don't, I don't fully know what, can't fully grasp like the purpose of that you know but that whole narrative also had to do with uh, a synchronicity i had at my grandma's house right after the falcons lost in the super bowl and i was at my grandma's house on eagle street and my uncle clancy was there and then i found out my sister owned a company called eagle acres and then i was like my uncle clancy's the only uh his son is the only eagles fan that i know and there was this big you know, narrative that kept leading up to the Eagles. And there was a Super Bowl commercial of the town where my sister lives in featured during the Super Bowl. And then a girl from her town later died. And the last person to die there was Lyle Eagle Tail. And that's, you know, my, my canceled skiing trip. I ended up going to Sioux Falls and, it, and uh, I was talking about how was, there was something important to drowning. And then I realized that that girl actually drowned in Sioux Falls. And Lyle Eagle Tail was the person who died before her. And the guy who founded that my sister's town was famous for writing a book called The Birds of America and The Bird of America is an, an eagle. And then the Eagles went on to win the Super Bowl. So I just, there's something important to, you know, this narrative. But their daughter is actually named after my grandma. Her name is Ellie. And she was born on August 10th. I don't know what year, I can't remember, but August 10th which was a big day that I was following with Tisha Bob and the stock market narrative. And that's Herbert Hoover's birthday. So 
you know, and August 6th this year is Tisha B'Av. This, a big thing that I was talking about in this video was all about August 6th, you know, my, and just go back and watch this video. But part of the reason why I started realizing there was a train narrative was because I had got this paperback version of my book and I was looking through it and I noticed on the back, it said that it was made in Middletown, Delaware. And it led me to look up that town and barely anything happened in that town, except for the movie, the dead poets society was filmed there. And one of the main characters in that was an actor named Norman Lloyd and his last movie just so happened to be the film train wreck. And he died at the age of 106 and you know, a whole bunch of stuff. But what I pointed out was a lot of this narrative with, train wreck has to do with the film train wreck with Amy Schumer that had a shooting in 2015 right after it came out and there was a theater shooting reminding us of the Batman theater shooting in 2012 and right after that train wreck shooting in 2015 we started getting all these stories about Batman in the media like Donald Trump saying it was Batman at the Iowa State Fair and you know Batgirl Yvonne Craig died and a whole lot more and Batman and that Batman shooting was all about the number 86. It's part of the reason why I made this cover of my book all about the, the date August 6th and the number 86. And I've been following the date August 6th, 2022 a ton. You know, it's just been this important day. I even released the ebook copy of my book on the date August 6th on purpose for this reason. Although Amazon won't even let me have that. And they say that it was August 5th, even though absolutely I have a video proving that I put it out. I uploaded it on August 6th, but Amazon changed it to August 5th for some odd reason. But the reason that I'm bringing all this back up is because it's actually important to this train wreck that happened today. And also I should point out too in uh, Gematria, if you write Denison, Iowa, it equals 128, like that bridge number. But the whole reason I'm bringing this up is that... So I was looking at like these pictures because I couldn't find a whole lot and there wasn't really any articles yet. And I was looking at these pictures and I, I was trying to see if I could see like the train number or something important to the trains. Right. And there was this one guy that was on Facebook who was like apparently parked right behind. So basically the, a semi got stuck or something like that. And then the train hit the semi, but this guy was like right there and he saw it all and he took all these pictures and so on. And I was just kind of looking through his Facebook and I saw this one picture right here and it looks like the word tiger right there, but I wasn't quite for sure. I mean, can you see that? I was like, it looks like the word tiger, but you know, and, and think about it, it's the Chinese tiger year. And you know, that's a part of the reason why I think that this date, August 6th is really important because it's the tiger year is, you know, international tiger day is on the same day as the, anniversary of nasa and this year's the 53rd anniversary of the moon landing and august 6th is the day that tisha bob begins and tisha bob equals 53 and a whole lot more it's all linked up to this tiger symbolism but i wasn't sure and just a little while ago i was i found an article finally about this on msn and it verified exactly what i thought it said it literally says tiger right on the side of these this train car right tiger and I'm thinking, you got to be kidding me. It says tiger on this evening during the tiger year, all the Bengal stuff with the tiger symbolism. And then it dawned on me back last summer. I didn't know when, but I was wondering if it was around the same time that I started following this train wreck pattern. But I remember I was at the gas station and there was a bunch of motorcycles there and they they were like blocking the gas. You couldn't get gas. It must've been on like a Friday or a Sunday on my days off. And I was like trying to figure out what was going on. Like, why are they blocking the, all the pumps? Why is there so many people at the gas station? What is going on? And then I realized that they were actually waiting for a train because like the gas stations up here and you go down this little driveway and there's another highway that goes this way. So they were all waiting to go down this highway and there was a train. And when I looked over, I was like, there is a train that says tiger on it. And so I took a picture of it and I was just like, that's crazy. And I went home and I got on, I got on 
CNN, and they had a story about 10 people being stabbed on a train in Tokyo. And I was like, like, you got to be kidding me. There's a, another a train story, and then there's a tiger train. I'm following this tiger narrative with a tiger year and how it's linked up to August 6th. And believe it or not, this happened on August 6th as well, the same day that I released my ebook, August 6th. And I had, you know, synchronicity with this same tiger thing, right? The same train. It's like unbelievable. I had August 6th, the day that I released my book, and the book's all about 86 and August 6th, I had synchronicity with a train that said tiger on it that looks a whole lot like this one that says tiger on it, right? The one that wrecked. I mean, so that just tells me right away. It's still pointing me to the August 6th narrative that I have been following. I mean, it's absolutely, it's absolutely crazy. And I had a whole bunch of synchronicities with iceberg and stuff and boat synchronicity around that same time. And it was funny because that same day we got a story about uh, this, I don't know, it was about climate change and so on. And they showed a picture of an iceberg in Greenland. And that stuck out to me because August 6th this year is when Tisha B'Av begins. And in 2019, when we're following this big Tisha B'Av narrative with August 10th and August 11th, Around that same time, I had synchronicity with my friend from Denmark, and I wondered if there was something important to Denmark. And it was like two days later, we got a story about how Donald Trump wanted to buy Greenland from Denmark. You know, and back in February, I even mentioned how this narrative was coming back up. I thought there was something important to Denmark. And then the Queen of Denmark got coronavirus, like the same day that Prince Charles got coronavirus. So I, I feel like there's, I need to go back and relook at some of this stuff, you know, but. It all had to do with that boat synchronicity that I had back in June. And remember, I was having all these boat synchronicities at work and tons of stuff. And I then I looked at my phone and my kid must have changed the location to Seab, Oman. And I wondered if maybe there was something important to a boat in the Gulf of Oman. And then the very next day, Iran's biggest Navy ship sank in the Gulf of Oman. You know, and it like, there, there's something there. and it, there's definitely something linked up to Dubai as well. Dubai is where the the World's Fair is being held right now. And in 2019, China was hosting the World's Fair. And that's another reason why I was following Tisha Bob in 2019 was because Slipknot was going to be playing at the Iowa State Fair for the first time. And Donald Trump had said he was Batman at the Iowa State Fair in a helicopter, a whole bunch more. So. There was a bunch of fair symbolism. That's why the Nationals went on to win the World Series because the Nationals were originally the Montreal Expos and the Expo was a fair. And remember on Tisha Bob that year, August 11th, the big story in the news was the riots in Hong Kong, China. There was the Chinese pig year and a whole bunch of stuff. So, But what's interesting is just before I realized this, that I had this Tiger train synchronicity on August 6th. I was looking at people from Dennis and Iowa. And I was actually looking at this guy because it said something about how he worked for NASA. So I looked, I was looking at this guy and then I saw that he's all about global warming and climate change and so on. And, you know, it's just kind of funny that I see this story where I'm talking about, you know, uh, actually I mentioned Emmy Rossum because in a post before this, I mentioned the TV show Shameless, and she's also in that. But she's in the movie The Day After Tomorrow that's all about climate change and so on. And then this story about Greenland was about climate change. So just before I realize this, I'm looking at this guy from Denison, Iowa, that's talking all about climate change, or, you know, he's a big supporter of stopping climate change and such. So I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. And I'm just wondering, you know, The Day After Tomorrow, or, you know, would be March 12th. Possibly there's something important to that day. That's a big day with Pope Francis and the Jesuits and so on. So, we will see. I also have been talking a lot about the, the date 6-4 with the dream theme because if you go back to September, the dream theme was really, it had a lot to do with this dream that I had in high school where I had a dream that my friend's father died in a car wreck 
And then the next day he did die in a car wreck. And I was trying to piece this dream narrative together. And it was all to do with the angel Gabriel and the word Daniel and the book of Daniel. And then I realized that that guy's name was Daniel. And I went to his wife's Facebook to kind of to see if I could find the day that he died or his birthday or anything. And it turns out his wife is a psychic and, you know, a bunch of stuff. It's like, so she, I had a dream about a psychic lady's husband dying when I was in high school, you know. And I didn't know she was a psychic ba until just now. I don't know how recent it is or what, but I don't remember her being a psychic back then, you know. But possibly. But th he died on 6-4. And my uncle Mike died the very same day as the Philadelphia train wreck in 2015. And his birthday was 6-4, and Amtrak equals 64, and Joe Biden equals 64. And that John Bon Jovi sink was with my Uncle Mike's wife, or, you know, his widowed wife or whatever, since he's not alive anymore. And it had to do, she was picking up her grandson named Bo, and think about how Bo Biden, Joe Biden's son, he died just after the Philadelphia train wreck in 2015. But I made my boat synchronicity video on the date 6-4. And then I never made videos for, until like a long time. I, I was going to make a video on August 6th, the day I released the ebook, And then for what I get, I don't know. I, I had a lot of stuff going on at that time. And I didn't make videos for a while. Pretty sure I didn't make any videos. Let me go back and look though. Yeah, I didn't make another video. This was on 6-4 and then I didn't make another, this other video until September 4th. So I didn't make videos for a whole long time there over the whole summer. And I just find that interesting. It was the date 6-4, you know. So maybe there's something important to this video again. That, I mean, I'm trying to piece this puzzle together, like, like why it's all related, you know. But white tiger, the, like the background of this is white, right? The color green also equals 86 in Gematria, green letters, right? But White Tiger reminds me of Rob Gronkowski. Because that's how I was talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers like crazy. Because Tiger King came out the same day that Tom Brady signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then there was a story about Rob Gronkowski being the White Tiger on The Masked Singer. And then Rob Gronkowski later joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And then we had the, you know, the Tiger got coronavirus and all kinds of, you know, tiger symbolism and stories and whatnot going on that month so it just makes me wonder if something with rob gronkowski there because it's a white background with the word tiger white tiger but let me go back to this other post the first post i made today i'm just i'm just so baffled i can't believe there's actually a train wreck just you know pretty much in my back door you know it's like and, and notice that the fire department posted that it was a they got called at 1.32 p.m. The Philadelphia train wreck in 2015 was on the 132nd day of the year. You know? It's crazy. And Catholic Church is 132. It is linked up to Pope Francis. And Back in December, I had synchronicity in this town, too, with a, a lady named Marsha Pope. Hold on, let me pull that up really quick. I was going to El Himador to get the Chili Colorado. It's like the greatest meal in the world. And I was just thinking about all this knowledge and how people just think that everything is the Jesuits and everything that's going on is the Jesuits and so on. And I was showing how synchronicities and things are very important and there's a lot more to pay attention to with this knowledge. And, you know, I, I get to this place and they have an obituary on the wall, and this lady died in October, and this was in December. And, of course, her name was Marsha Pope. And I was like, that can't be a coincidence, because she died at the age of 56, right? And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Age 56, and Society of Jesus equals 56, you know, Pope, and so on, right? Marsha Pope. Marsha Pope just so happened to equal 56 in Gematria. And I can't even remember it all here, but... She died 21 days after the Jesuit anniversary, and she died on the day leaving 20. Her birthday was the day leaving 21 days in the year, and the word Jesuit equals 21. And she got married on the date 2-1, and her only son was born on Pope Francis's birthday. I mean, it was all linked up to Pope Francis, right? 
What day was this even? What day did this happen? Hold on one second. I want to make sure. That was the same day that Medina's spirit died? No. It was the day before Medina's spirit died. Which is the day that Nelson Mandela died, though. 12-5. So. But I was talking about the horse theme back then, right? She loved horses. It's just nuts. But just moral of the story, you know, it's all about, it's like I had synchronicity with that. That doesn't mean that lady got killed by the Catholic Church or was a Jesuit or anything of the such. But there was something guiding me to understand the pattern, you know. But anyway, let's look at this post again. So I'm just trying to piece this together. I know it's not organized a bit, but. Notice if you go from March 10th to June 4th, it's also 86 days. And two months, 25 days, the word horse is 225, a big number with Nelson Mandela, 225. His name's 225, he died 225 days before his birthday. The the kid that came in and told me, Jordan Reister, his name's 310 and Francis Bacon, today's 310. He also equals 616 in the Fibonacci cipher, and that's interesting because... When I was talking about the Bon Jovi stuff, I also mentioned the number 616. Let's see if it's in here. I pointed out how Bon Jovi equaled 616 in the Fibonacci. And Pope Francis visited the White House six years, one month, and six days before he met Joe Biden on the anniversary of the stock market crash in 2021 here. 616. And think about Joe Biden being the only Catholic or the second Catholic president after JFK, right, the 35th and the 46th presidents, and Catholic equals 35 and 46, but JFK and Jewish gematria equals 616. And some people believe that 616 is actually the number of the beast, right, instead of 666. And I pointed out how it's interesting this radio station is 99.9, .9, like an upside down 666, right? And showed out Mark of the Beast is linked to John Bon Jovi, and I, I was looking up all to this 144 stuff, and but you know it's interesting. So his name equals 616 in the Fibonacci cipher, which is important to the book that I put out. And I didn't realize that I had put the book out all by the Fibonacci sequence and so on until Zenith of the Alpha had pointed it out to me and so on. And I mean, my mind was blown, you know, and I knew that I should start paying attention to the Fibonacci numbers and the cipher and so on. So, and it, now it's starting to kind of show itself a little bit more than it has. So his sister that I had the dream about too, her name's 132, you know, reminding us of the train wreck and so on. Today's two months and 21 days after Pope Francis's birthday, and Dennis in Iowa and Francis Bacon equals 221, also 254 like San Francisco. Another big thing I talked about in my video from last night was San Francisco and why it was important to the bridge symbolism. And, you know, San Francisco was named after St. Francis of Assisi, just like how Pope Francis is also named after him. Also, in regards to JFK, back when I predicted the Indians to play the Cubs in the World Series, it had a lot to do with this Native American theme that was linked up to the number 128, but it was linked up to the town Denison, Iowa. And something that I pointed out was that the film JFK, the, the main character is Kevin Costner, but he portrays this guy named Jim Garrison, and Jim Garrison is actually born in Denison, Iowa. And notice he has the same birthday as Joe Biden, right? And then he died one day after Kamala Harris's birthday. Which, I, I, I don't know, there might be something symbolic to that. Isn't that Back to the Future Day? And isn't that the same day that Alec Baldwin supposedly shot the Ukrainian Helena Hutchins? And so on. So, And I had synchronicity that day with the crow and so on. And then later that, and I talked about there was, you know, a prop gun shooting and so on. And I blogged about it. And then later that night, we got the story about Alec Baldwin shooting someone with a prop gun. And the reason that's important is because I actually started writing that blog when I was in Denison that day. 
we were like in Denison getting Subway or something. And I started telling my girlfriend about it on the way home and whatnot. So how, how crazy it had to do with Denison too. But, you know, JFK, the film, Kevin Costner portrays this guy from Denison, Iowa. So there's another connection to JFK with all this and Joe Biden. And that also had to do a lot to do with this uh, football player named Kyle Calloway who played at Iowa, like with Brandon Scherf, I think. And Brandon Scherf is also the Washington Commanders or Redskins player. He's also from Denison, Iowa. And we have the death of this Kyle Calloway who died in Tucson, or he died in Vail, Arizona, that's next to Tucson. But remember, back in September, after I blogged about how I thought there was going to be an, a train wreck story, we got that Joplin, M Montana Amtrak derailment the very next day. And I talked about how it was synced up to the, I thought it was important to the Joplin tornado in Missouri. And then recently we got that story about the Joplin, Missouri cops being shot. But just after that Joplin, Missouri Amtrak, there was a shooting at the Tucson Amtrak. So I wonder if there's something related to that, to the how it all goes back to that Native American theme that I was talking about with Brandon Scherf playing for the Redskins. And it was Vail, Iowa is right next to Denison, Iowa. And in between there is Yellow Smoke Park. And Yellow Smoke is the, he was the last keeper of the sacred pole of the Omaha tribe. And they were like stupidly important to like why I thought the Indians would be in the World Series. And, you know, it was all linked up to the movie Field of Dreams. And Field of Dreams played their first game. Or, you know, the MLB played the Field of Dreams game back in 2021, which is another reason why I thought that dream narrative was important. And remember, Abraham Lincoln had a dream that he was assassinated 10 days before he got shot. And Martin Luther King had a dream, and he died on 4-4, the same day that Abraham Lincoln had that dream about being shot. The same day that the first president to die in office died, it was March or April 4th, 4-4. And, and I just feel like this is important because I just had the nine days sink. So now I'm thinking there is something important to this 10 days sink, right? RFK, given the speech in Roseburg, Oregon, 10 days before he died at 144. If you write out 10 days before, I think it is, it equals 144. And Abe Lincoln shot on 14 slash four. And JFK died 144 days after meeting the Pope. Donald Trump met the Pope on the 144th day of the year, although he hasn't been assassinated yet. You know, but it's linked up to Joe Biden and such. But Marilyn Monroe sang happy birthday to JFK 10 days before JFK's actual birthday. Jackie Kennedy, his wife, died on the same day Marilyn Monroe sang that song, right? So it was 10 days before JFK's birthday. And this Roseburg, Oregon thing with RFK is important because in 2015, with all the train symbolism, there was a, a French train attack and... One of the people who saved the day was Alex Scarlatos, or Scarlettos, however you say his name. And he just so happened to be from Roseburg, Oregon, and he went to that Umpqua, whatever it was, college. And then, what, a couple months after that train attack, this college in Roseburg got, uh, there was a shooting there. Right, so, it's definitely linked up. This 10 days before, and 10 days before Trump's birthday is June 4th, 6-4, that day important that I, I'm just, it just seems to be coming up, 6-4, and Joe Biden is 64, so it's just interesting, you know? I think I'm supposed to pay attention to 10 days before for some reason. We'll skip over that. It's too much to explain there, but this this Jim Garrison guy, he uh, also was in the movie JFK, but he portrayed this other guy. He portrayed Earl Warren, and Earl Warren is interesting if you look him up because his birthday is three nineteen, which. It stands out to me just because three nineteen is that day where Kamala Harris. That's the day the Simpsons episode where Lisa becomes the first woman president came out and it was linked up to Kamala Harris and so on. 
And then, you know, at inauguration day, Kamala Harris wore the the purple suit with the pearls on it that looked like Lisa Simpson and so on. So it's interesting that guy's born on 319. And then this guy's born on Joe Biden's birthday. I feel like 7-9 is important too. Wasn't... Oh, James Garfield. Hold on. Let me look it up really quick. James Garfield. One of the presidents... He was shot on July 2nd, and one of the presidents that died, or got assassinated, maybe it was William McKinley, they got assassinated at the World Fair, or the fair in Buffalo. I feel like there was something important to the date 7-9 with assassinated presidents. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and find that. Maybe I'll leave a little tag in the video if I find it. I just feel like there, I could be wrong, I just feel like there was something important to assassinated the presidents on the day 7-9 for some reason. I could be thinking of something else, but... This Jim Garrison guy, too, you know, like his... I, I, I know that there's something important to this, because the, the Jordan Reister kid that came in and told me about this, his birthday is January 18th, and the synchronicity I had the other day with my Aunt Rosa, and she was picking up her grandson named Bo, his birthday, January 18th. And that's also Kevin Costner's birthday, January 18th. Right? So, I just feel like there's a definite narrative with that. And Jim Garrison equals the same as Kamala Harris, and the same as White House, and the same as President. So, And the, I, I talked about how I had synchronicity with this. I came downstairs on 3-8 to talk to my girlfriend, but she's already sleeping on the couch. But this, right, like, right, on, right about this part of a Simpsons episode was playing, and it was where Lisa was the president-elect, and then she got an F in elementary, so they, like, banned her to some place or whatever. And then I, I didn't, I just forgot to blog about it, but I blogged it in here. But Lisa on ice equals 310. And it was the eighth episode of season six, like 86. And she's the president. And Kamala Harris also equals 86. So, just interesting. It's unbelievable that I'd have all of these synchronicities today. I knew it was going to happen. I just, I knew there was something important to today. Because it's been an important day in, in the past, you know. It was really important in 2019. Today's also the day Michael Jordan, in regards to the kid named Jordan, Today is also the day Michael Jordan retired from baseball, and uh, he was all about the nine-day stuff, remember? He came back nine days later to the NBA, and his father died nine days before his birthday, and Jordan wore the number nine in the, on the Olympic Dream Team, and in the movie Space Jam, they put the, the Olympic Dream Team jersey next to his number 23, 9-23, that big date with the Philadelphia train wreck and Pope Francis's visit. So, I wonder if the Bulls or something play tonight. I, will, I won't keep going on with this, but I'm going to make the video short. But I wonder if the Chicago Bulls or Zach Levine or something is, you know, played tonight. I never even looked at that, but Zach Levine's birthday today. That, that was in 2015, the same year as the... All the stuff I followed was Zach Levine and the Bulls. And, why I thought the Bulls are going to have a good season this year had to do with Zach Levine and Michael Jordan in the year 2015, the same year as the Philadelphia train wreck. So, trying to think if I forgot anything. I don't know. I'm just going to end it there. I'll add it into something. Or you can come to the blog. I always leave the blog in the description of the video as well. I'm going to see if there's more details of the story. Maybe find out if it shows who the truck driver was or something of the sort. But, you know, well, it's just craziness. A train wreck, like, right after I make a video about train wreck symbolism, then there's a train wreck, you know, 19 miles away from where I live in a town that, like, I've been going to for my whole life. But whatever, keep following the patterns, have a good one, peace.